Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Breeze, Breezeway Productions' The Breeze, where we bring you the latest in independent films and film festival news, and we are happy to continue our coverage of this year's Dances with Films Festival, and we have filmmaker Melissa Rue here with us today to talk about her documentary, Live Out Loud. How are you, Melissa? I'm doing okay today. Thank you. How are you doing? Very good, very good. Uh, talking to a lot of filmmakers, excited to see all the projects that are going to be out. And uh, now we're going to move on to Live Out Loud. So tell us about your documentary. Okay, so first I want to tell you, my full name is Melissa Gregory Rue. Mm -hmm. And so I use that professionally. Um, this film is a film about three people who were without a home in Portland, Oregon. And they learned how to make films over the course of a year. And it empowered them and restored their self-esteem in ways that were just incredible and then also help them start to heal from childhood trauma. Where was this uh, subject matter brought to you, uh, the attraction um, in Portland, Oregon? Did you live there? Did you, did you know this organization? Yes, I lived in Portland for almost 30 years. And I had a friend who was one of the artists in residence who was teaching this uh, video making pro program. It was offered at a social service center called Bug Clark Commons. And so they had a grant from the Regional Arts and Culture Council in Portland to do this. So there, I think there were about six artists in residence. And so when he told me he was doing this, I, um, I am a former teacher, professor. And um, so it just really got my imagination. I just thought, I want to see what happens, you know, with these people. How is this going to change them? Um, and it was very, it was it was a very profound experience to follow the three of them. That's interesting. Uh, at, what did you see with growth within these individuals as from when they started before the filmmaking experience and learning to when they concluded? Was it, was it healing to them? Did they grow? Did they learn? Did they become more self-independent? Did they quit their addictions or, or problems? Any of those? Oh, yes. And yeah, I, I don't want to give too much away, but, um, but I will say, I mean, they all two of them ended up in, in much better places. Um, and um, I think that, so one thing with people who are living on the streets, I mean, they, and, and using social, you know, getting social services, if you, I don't know if you've ever experienced it, but I did in my early twenties, I was unemployed and trying to get started on my own. And I experienced what it's like to stand in line for food stamps. And it is so demoralizing and people look down at you and, when you go through the those government programs over and over and you you it just tears your self-esteem up basically and then you're living on this i mean people living on the street it's even more severe so i think what was incredible is like putting cameras in these people's hands and teaching them to edit and teaching them and and giving them the ability to use their voice um was just incredible they i mean from the day they walk in in the film you can really see at the end there's a lot more hope there's a lot more light it doesn't mean that all their problems get solved i mean it's sure. un unrealistic to do that in a year but it really did put them on the right path and um and yeah i it, it was very inspiring so um yeah i'm excited to i'm excited to see how people respond to the film and one of the people uh, sumaya who I followed is actually living in Venice Beach now. So she will be at the screening with me. Oh, cool. So uh, it will be at Dances with Films, which is right around the corner. Do you know when you're going to be screening at the festival? Yes, we're going to, we're on the closing day. It's Sunday, June 19th at 1230 PM. And we, it, we, anyone with a nonprofit or city official or um, media folks are all welcome to come for free. Okay. We we're really we want to get uh, we want to get a good turnout from you know the mental health community people who work in social work helping unhoused people in LA and Venice Beach and people in education and the arts and all those folks. So one of the really cool things with um, the program that these three people went through was that not only were they empowered and able to start making art and then take sort of taking on a new identity you know, mm -hmm. which is a, to feel recognized as an art, as an artist is a really huge thing. And they get that, 
But also it was cool to watch because it brought these communities together that would never interact otherwise. Mm -hmm. So for example, they did a um, teaser screening at a really fancy art gallery in downtown Portland, Oregon. And professors from the art co colleges of art came out and people from the community who support artists. And so that is, I think that's sorely lacking in our country right now on a big scale. And sure. so it was like, it made me think, wow, if we could start more programs like this around the country, we could start to solve some of the issues we have with people not understanding one another because they never interact and therefore stereotyping one another. And sure. then we get all of this animosity that leads to violence, which is everybody's aware of what's being discussed today. <laughs> yes, yes. The, the conversation continues. It has been going on for quite some time. I yeah. live in Los Angeles myself. I know that it's still a housing crisis, a homelessness crisis. Portland shares that, which you will be able to see. So okay. the fact that you're bringing people from California to meet with others to help to see if they can do anything more, which is very dire and very needed, then I hope that it brings you success to find organizations that can help uh, put people in houses. One that I've worked with in the past is the Chrysalis organization. I know that they also find people, uh, you know, that are on the streets and then, you know, put, give them housing and then help them jumpstart their lives again. And there's some amazing stories that are to be found there, but I digress back to live out loud. It will be screening at dance with films, the closing night film. Where can people go to find out more about it on your social channels? Uh, we're on Facebook at live out loud documentary and Instagram at liveoutloud.doc and on Twitter at liveoutloud.doc. And you can go to uh, Dances With Films website to get tickets and just right on the homepage, there's a big button that says tickets, very easy to access. Sure. And then you just scroll down to find our film. And yeah, we're excited to be there for the closing night. Of course, we get a party after and yeah it's going to be really wonderful to meet all the filmmakers where a lot of us are already talking 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 <laughs> yeah it's a great festival i've enjoyed dances in the past and i know that they're going to do a great job uh once again this year so i want our audiences to check out live out loud at dances with films closing night festival and i want to thank you for joining me to talk about it melissa rue uh the director of live out loud thank you so much for having me 